Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Bjorning and it is time for us to head out to Floodwind which is actually where is Floodwind? Alright, oh, yeah I could go down the road. I've spent a while since I've been down here so trying to remember the exact way how that works. Alright, let's see, did I get everything out here? I really need to, to get these things in the right order. Oh yeah, I had all these things that were added since the tutorials. In response to the tutorial, oopsie daisy. I think I have to... Well, it looks like I got... What? Oops. Well, I guess this is an opportunity to... Have a mounted battle. Let's see what this does. Oh, that was spur on. Hey, oh well. Yes. Don't use that much about and yes, the joys of mounted combat and gaining the ire of every single mob in the area. Alright, now let me turn off the spur. Did I turn that off? Yeah, turn that off. Oh, yeah, I, I really don't like mounted combat with the Bjorning. I much prefer it with ranged characters. It's, it's, it's very annoying, I think, with melee characters. Alas. Oh, well, it looks like I got outside of their range, so they all ran away. Alright! So well, let's get out of here, seeing that. The said, amount of combat and melee characters, I really don't get them along all that well. Let's see. What did I do? I turned the wrong way. That's what I did. All right. That did look like a... Actually, before I, before I go around there... And, oh yes, that little stop there it was a double back arrow, double S. Now, I don't know if... Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, that is still some place I was thinking of. Never mind. So let's get back out here. And let me get away from... Is that something chasing? Oh, no, that's not something chasing me. Oh, I need Wrath in order to use Dash. Yeah, that's another annoyance with the Bjorning. You need Wrath in order to use Dash, because we don't have power, so we have to build up Wrath instead. So therefore, if I'm just out here, I think, though, if I do a f Furious Roar... No, that's not the one I need to use. Six cents. Is there something here? I was wondering is if there was something I can use to build up wrath. That's Wickenburg. And I don't see anything that's useful in that. What about this? Oh, recuperate! That's it. Yeah. Do a recuperate and then quickly do a dash after that. I thought there was a way. Alright. So let's head in here. Okie dokie. So let's put that down. Hello there. Easterlings have been testing the Great River, seeking places to ford. You have come from Harwick? The Thane was hoping for more men, but I suppose you will do. The Easterlings have been testing the Great River, trying to find a safe place at which they could ford between the two undeeps. They have a large camp to the northeast, but our people have kept an eye on them, and they ask for another way to strike at us. Perhaps they thought just below the rapids would be safe, or perhaps they fear their commanders 
more than their rushing waters. A great many perish trying to cross just below the Sar Gibir. Not all, however. Not all by half. Many of the Easterlings survived the crossing, and they have marshaled their forces for an attack on Floodwind. Many of their belongings are scattered and damaged in the waters, but still they seek to recover enough to arm themselves and attack the city. We need you to strike them along the banks of the Anduin, just to the east, below the cliffs. You should also steal from them what belongings survived in the crossings. We need to take some crossings and soon defeat some Easterlings. Alrighty, and this one is at level 77, which I am at 77 and 99 one hundredths. Oh yes, I should. Welcome and well met, my friend. Yeah, well friend. met. All right, and also let's get our milestone here. I guess Parth Galen. Good. Now that we did that, we <laughs> my other ones at Langholt. Oh yeah, that's a real useful milestone now that the entire village has been destroyed. All right, let's. Get back on my horse and be off. Oh, actually, before I do that, let me take care of my traits here so that they are in a reasonable order for my purposes. All right, slash, that's a good place for that. Spur on should be up here. Break free, I like to put up here. That's a breakaway thing. Ferocious roar. Okay, well, okay, that's a tactical, so I'll put that there. Six cents places buff of self and nearby allies, chases, increases evade chance. Alright, execute. Alright, that's a similar to execute for that. Alright, that's a speed one, so I usually put that near there. Recuperate. Hmm. Okay, I'll put that there. Spur on. Beast form. All right, that's a tackle, so all these things can go all nice in there. And then coax, shumire scream, taunting foes. Okay, that forces enemy to ride close, so I'll move coax to over here. All right, that I think will do for now. And I'll, of course, completely forget this as we're along the way as far as this warband. Nah. I think not. What I want to do is to head over down this way and avoiding combat since I don't like mounted combat with the army. I think this is where I need to go. Now unfortunately, right make sure this is the way I'm going. Yes, yeah, definitely the way I need to go. Is how to get down there. Now there are several ways to down there and there might even be the long way, of course, does not give you any ankle crunches. Well, this way definitely does. Alright. I don't think my horse appreciated that. Hi there! Now, what you should really do is do go down towards the north, circle about, and then come down. And that's a much safer way of doing it. For example, if you don't like getting crushed ankles. Oh! I don't like it when I do that. I don't know why I thought I wasn't careful. And I go hit it a second time and boom! It knocked me right out of it. And, even worse, I wasted my Rush. Ah. <sighs> now these are the. I guess I have to get out of bear form in order to do this. Salvage belongs. Oh yes, I might as well. Check for relics in the area. Also, turn on my little sense for scholarly items. All right, let's go. 
I just got in Veriform, I did all that stuff, prepared to it, and tried to go into Veriform again. Ah, uh, this just... It's been as two consecutive uses of one of my favorite skills, completely wasted. Alright, let's Alright, now. Okay. Good. Let's get rid of that. Of course, having to turn into a human form in order to pick these things up doesn't exactly help the matter. Alright, there we go. Now we've got three. Uh, must be one that we've done already. Ah, finally got to use it. There you go. Okay, now let's go to four. And now number five. And that takes care of that. So let's head back to not to Langle to Floodwind. Actually, I think I want to... Oh yeah, I don't want that. What I want is to get... Don't I have a real item around here? I should get rid of the Outrider's token since that's no longer useful. And hopefully I have a... Uh, I'm sure I thought I did have somewhere... Somewhere in this mess of stuff that's way too much. A pocket item. I still have. I still haven't gone to a bank in order to put all that stuff away. That's how bad it is right now. All right. Let's see. Okay. Let's get that up here. Let's get this up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. I can't find it. All right. Let's see. For love, honor, and duty. Uh, well, we might as well turn that on. That's. I should actually have that on on a regular basis. Well, I can't find out where it is, so I am going to have to just remove the thing and get myself a pocket item. And I'll find it 10 seconds after I log out, right? Okay. Now, let's head back to the guy at the entrance of Floodwind. Yay! All right, done. Here are, here are the items. While you were gone, a raiding party of orcs passed near to Floodwind. Between your skill in combat and the harsh waters of the Great River, perhaps the Easterlings will decide attacking the Floodwind is too much trouble. What times we live in. Even if what that were so, we would still have to worry about attacks from raiding orcs. We'll... Well, Will Floodwind ever see peace again? Uh, while you are gone, a raiding party of orcs passed near to Floodwind. Artwald and his men rode out to find them and had success. All the orcs were defeated. The orcs must have recently fought with some elves, for one of Artwald's men claimed to quite a trophy from the body of the one of the orcs, a bow of quality elf made, and the, with the finest detailing. He has been showing it off since he has returned. His name is Elfsage, and he's likely to challenge your elf in an archery contest before too long. <laughs> Poor foolish fellow. All right. That is almost certainly the bow I left to Fimloth. You heard what he said, Pineclaw? That's most certainly the bow that I lent to Fimloth. The orc that claimed it carried it into the world, and now this man Elsige has taken it. All right, and what do we get for this? Agility, power, agility, vitality, and maximum power, and 
Yeah, nothing really useful for Bjorning, I have to say. That's unfortunately what you have in Rohan. This will not take long. Are you sure about that? Uh, this will not take long. Let us have some words with this man's LCJ and be... He is sure to return my bow when he understands the situation. Okay, we will find that out. And... Where is he? Well, maybe I should have waited one more round before... Undoing that little bit. Alright, hello there. See? Gordon's already here. He must have run like the wind. I am not unreasonable. What if I gave your friend a chance to win it back? I am sorry that your friend lost his bow, but it seems to me that anything taken from an orc belongs to the one strong enough to take it. If your friend wanted it back, why did he not reclaim it from the orcs when he had the opportunity? But I'm not uh, unreasonable. What if I give your friend an opportunity to win it back in a contest of some sort? Our ward has given me a message to deliver to Eth Elthingos in the Norquas. How about this? A test of your mounted skill. Whichever of us first reaches Eth Angels gets to keep the bow. If I arrive there first, your friend gives up all claim to it. Uh, does he agree to this proposal? If he does, let us speak with my commander, Alford, outside of Wolf Floodwind. He will start the race. How about that? If these are the laws of men, I am grateful to be one of the Galadhrim. This is a ridiculous requirement. Why should I have to engage in a competition to determine my right to the possessed property that is rightfully mine? If there are these are the laws of men, I am grateful I am one of the Galadhrim, but I am not worried, Pineclaw. We will best this arrogant sapling that thinks it is a <sighs> who thinks it is a wreath oak, and my favorite bow will once again be in my possession. Let us speak with this Altwald outside of Floodwind. The sooner this unnecessary race is begun, the sooner we will win it. All right. Well, he has a lot of confidence in me, doesn't he? So let us head back. I presume it's yeah. I thought so. It's still 77. I don't think it bumps up to 78 until you get to Ethangles. All right. So therefore. We will head out here to Owlwald, who will be, I guess you could say, the re referee, game master, or whatever, to this competition. And we will have this competition in our next episode of Piney Plays, The Bjorning.